Hi my loves, I hope you're all doing really well today. I'm gonna to be doing a foodie video. So I'm gonna be doing some meals of the week, what we've been eating as a family. They are of course healthy and nutritious and on budget as well. Obviously we are trying to save as much money and I feel like food is the biggest spend that we have. We don't eat out, we don't have takeaways, but we do seem to spend lots on food. And I think having vegetables and fruit and quality meat is actually mainly the reason. Obviously you can buy a lot more affordable things, but it's just trying to keep it healthy for the family. So these are some meals that are not gonna break the bank and that are gonna be eaten by some fussy children. I've got two very fussy children and these seem to go down really well. So I really hope you like what you see and you might have found some inspiration for some meals that you've cooked or you want to choose some of these for your own family. Definitely let me know in the comments and if you want any more foodie videos then just let me know. I really hope you like it guys. Let's get on with the video. I am making a sausage ragu -y type thing tonight. So I've got some plain sausages. I've got some gnocchi, which I've never cooked with before, but um, it's potato, so it can't really go wrong. I'm just frying off some red onion and some garlic in here. I'm just gonna throw some herbs in, just some mixed herbs. And I'm just gonna make up like a sauce. I've got these from the garden, we grew these. Um, red onion, and I'm just gonna chuck in some chopped tomatoes as well. And some olives for a little bit of saltiness and top it with cheese. Uh, I might pop some of this garlic salt in as well. Um, I generally just throw things together, so maybe some smoked paprika and just some herbs as well. So that is all going to go in. I'm going to be pulling these sausages out of their skins. It's best to do it with their wet hands because it does come away easier. You probably get three, maybe four balls out of each sausage. So you're just creating little meatballs. Try and get them similar size as well. And then you've got about probably 30, 25 to 30 meatballs by the time you've done a pack of sausages. And then you just scrap the skins, you don't need those. And then I'm gonna add those into my onions. So my onions have sweated off. I'm gonna just pop in the balls like that. You might need a little drop more olive oil just to get the pan going a bit more, but might be okay. A few sprinkles of balsamic in there. And then I'm gonna pour in my tomatoes. These are just chopped tomatoes. And some fresh tomatoes as well. This is gonna give it quite a lot of sweetness, which is really nice for this dish. And I'm just gonna let that simmer. So it's been cooking for about three minutes. I'm just gonna let it simmer now for about probably 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna start on my gnocchi. So the water's now boiling. I'm just gonna chuck in the gnocchi. This is only gonna take two minutes to cook which is really, really handy. And then this is just finishing uh, simmering, well, boiling actually. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. It's just reducing down that sauce. Just taste it. I've added some pepper and some more garlic salt and a few more herbs, just dried herbs. So yeah, it's just like chuck it in and taste, see if it tastes all right. <laughs> and then this is gonna cook for two minutes and then I'm just gonna mix them both together. So the gnocchi's cooked for a couple of minutes. So a little bit of extra cheese on the top and I'm just gonna put a side of spinach on there and I may well put a little bit of balsamic on that as well. And that is it, you are done. There's plenty of leftover sauce so you can always add that onto the top of the gnocchi. Uh, but just in case you didn't want too much, just leave it plain or mix it into all together. And um, But that is it, really super easy and delicious. So I am a little bit like feeling not great at the moment, just hormonal and just a bit um, like run down and stuff. So I don't look the best. I've just been to the supermarket. I probably should have filmed that as a haul really because I've just been to Aldi. All the shelves were bare. It was so um, like empty in there. But the guy on the till was saying that they have uh, just had a documentary about them. Did you see it? I didn't catch it. I might have to look it up. Uh, he said it was like an hour long advert for Aldi basically. So um, yeah, they're probably quite pleased with that. So whether that's had a knock on effect or just because it's back to school maybe. I'm feeling really sluggish. I just feel a bit yuck. I think I've just had so much overindulgence. So I've got lots of bits here. I've got some, um, what are they called? Brussels sprouts. I mean, it's August, oh, it's September now, um, but I'm eating Brussels sprouts, not just for Christmas. Um, I've also got some tender stem broccoli. I've got some baby spinach, some olives, some beetroot, new potatoes. Uh, I bought quite a lot actually, I put loads of it away already but I spent 18 pounds which for three nights worth of meals is pretty good going I would say. I'm going to do a one pot dish 
one of my favorite styles. I'm going to be putting it in the oven. It's going to be chicken. You could obviously take that out and use a veggie alternative, like veggie sausages or something would be nice with it. I'm just going to shove it all into the baking tray and then cook it. So I'm really looking forward to it. I had this on holiday with my uh, best friend the other day. We were in, um, not holiday, but we went away for a few nights with the children to, down to the coast and I literally can't stop thinking about it. All the veggies were actually from her allotment, so unfortunately they're not going to be quite as nice and I didn't get the courgette or the marrow, which I really wanted, but it's fine. I'm just chopping up this broccoli because look at the heads, they've gone really weird. And like just, that was how they came back from the shop, which was, yeah, not great. Um, so I've just chopped off the stalks. These are like the bits that have all the goodness in anyway. And I've just chopped like half of my Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put those in my tray. So I'm just listening to Jade on um, Instagram stories um, live. But yeah, I'm gonna chop the rest of it up and put it in the pan. This is all my veggies. So I've got my stalks of my tender stem broccoli, my um, Brussels sprouts, some tomatoes, some beetroot and then some garlic which is maybe a bit overkill uh that's gonna go lovely and like sweet in there and then i've just got these which i'm gonna do separately and i'm gonna put my uh chicken breast in and then things like this so the olives are gonna go on last uh with about 10 minutes to go and then i will put some baby spinach on the side i'm just gonna sprinkle some herbs all over it and yeah, just basically a mashup and it tastes delish. So there it is, it's all ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna put it in for half an hour. I jumped the gun and I haven't filmed it, but I basically put my new potatoes in there with some olive oil and some paprika. They smell amazing. And off it goes for half an hour. So I've just brought the food out uh, with like 10 minutes to spare. Whoa, getting steamy. I'm just gonna pop my cheese on the top and my olives in and then serve it with the spinach and the potatoes. That's all out of the oven now, and I'm just gonna pop my spinach on the top just to wilt a little bit, and then serve it with my potatoes. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using uh, some white potatoes for mashing. Sorry, the sunlight is coming in, it's so bright. Uh, some chicken breasts, uh, some butter, lemons, and a dash of white wine, and I may add some cream at the end. I haven't quite decided yet, so I'm just gonna fry off that quickly before transferring it all to the slow cooker. I forgot to show you this as well, so I'm gonna make up a pint of stock to go in it as well. So if you can hear me over the sizzling, but this is just uh, browning off in the frying pan first, and then I've just chucked my lemons in there. I'm gonna add my stock to that as well, and then I've got my lemon juice for the sauce afterwards. In fact, I may as well chuck my stock in now while I've while I'm filming, there we go. That's all to go in there. That was only 250 mils in the end, not a pint. So I've just been doing my mashed potato in there. They are all cooked. And then um, this is all cooked as well in there, looking all good. I'm just gonna make a quick sauce up now. So I'm just gonna melt this butter and then I'm gonna add in my wine and lemon juice and then some of the cooking liquid as well. I've done a little pea side dish, very easy. I actually just put these in the microwave. So I'm gonna have those on the side. Potato is mashed, sauce is done. So here we go, we have got our summer chicken with peas and some mashed potato. You could do this with new potatoes as well, that'd be really nice. And I'm gonna actually treat myself to a very rare midweek glass of wine because I think it'll go in really nicely. That is today's dinner. So there we go guys, I really hope you liked that video. If you want any more foodie videos, definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please do give it a like and I will see you guys very soon.